Nestled in the Sugeri Plateau is Yarrawari High School. The school has come a long way to be what it is today, from its humble beginnings as the New Guinea School of Signals. It was also the birthplace of the Royal Papua New Guinea Constabulary in 1953. Its status as a conventional high school started in 1962, enrolling only boys. Yarrawari then was amalgamated with Sogeri High School. The first female intakes were in 1982. This transformed Yarrawari Yarrawari into a core educational institution. But for too long, Yarrawari has never received the prominence it rightfully deserves, with much of the attention given to Sogeri National High School. The school wants the country to know that it also played a role in nation building. The thing about Yarrawari is not many of our leaders, including uh, the NLG, uh, the local politicians of the province, have taken much interest in in embracing this history of the school, to make it uh, an icon of the school, because Yarrawari uh, produced some of the leaders that made Papua New Guinea what is today. And this very long, colorful history uh, has been overshadowed by many things. Let us say, let us say, Sogeri National High School has now taken more prominence over Yarrawari High School. When the two were together, during the early days of their establishment. Many of its buildings have seen better days. The mess is one of the buildings that were there since the war. The library also needs a major overhaul for new books. Staff housing is also a burden, but the school is improvising to cater for its staff by converting old dormitories into duplexes. Currently, there are 500 students enrolled in the school. Teacher to student ratio is one teacher to 30 students. The school has begun the process of working towards attaining its secondary status. With the tuition free funds, it has embarked on a number of projects such as the new girls' dormitory, school fencing, and the assembly hall. Headmaster Andrew Moava highlights the vision of the school. Our vision, Yaroi High School. Our vision is to expand, expand the school, and then it becomes an agrotechnical secondary school or institution that will provide uh, multi-purpose educational services as well as providing opportunity for skills training in the TVET area. Mm -hmm. Like Sogeri National High School, Yarrawari can boast an impressive list of former students, including Central Governor Kila Harder and Abau MP Dr. Puka Temu. They want their leaders and relevant authorities concerned to help them achieve their endeavors as an institution. Mickey Cavera, National MTV News.